Now, we're on the road in these programmes and we're going round to various aspects of our work. And today we're in the Sutherland Shire, beyond Sydney, where we're working uh, in, with people in various ways. But we're at the Wesley Vicary Lodge in Sylvania. This is one of a number of facilities that we work alongside older people and we try to provide services and care that's appropriate. And I'm really looking forward to talking to Cathy Beverly, who has responsibility for this work. Uh, Cathy, tell us a little bit, how long have you been at Wesley Mission? Oh, I've been at Wesley Mission about two and a half years now, yes. But you've been involved in this kind of work for many years. Yes, for over the last 16 years and um, predominantly in the not-for-profit, yeah. And is it changing a lot? Oh, it's changed a huge amount over the last 16 years. It's been... Um, Wesley Vickery, when it first opened, would have had people um, driving and parking and going to work, um, but just living here because they didn't want to be bothered living at home, whereas now the people who live here uh, need a lot of care and support. Just give us a, a, a feel of, of, of the, the size of, of, of a Vickery Lodge, one of our facilities. Yeah. How many people live here? I mean, are people much older? Just give me a picture yeah, of that. Yeah, there's 69 people live here at um, Vickery Lodge. The average age here is well into the 80s, um, and we've even got some that are into their hundreds. Really, it's great. Yes. I mean, I remember when I first came here, I said I would write a letter to everybody who reached the age of 100. I seem yes. to be writing more of those yes. letters today. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. This is a very happy place. I'm very yes. conscious of that whenever I come here. What's the secret of that? The secret, I think, here is, and it was brought home to me just yesterday in an email that I received from a relative, uh, is that the staff here not only care for the people that live here, but actually care for the entire families. This daughter wrote to me telling me how comforted she was by the care that her mother received here. Tell me what you get out of the work that you do then, because uh, it's important for you to work at Wesley Mission. What do you get out of it? I love the fact that we actually make a positive difference in people's lives. When people come here, they come here with great need. They come here at a time where um, they've had a crisis in their life um, and, and we help put that back together for them. And faith is important, isn't it? Yes. That's at the heart of all that. Yes. Is that important to you? Oh, absolutely, yes, yes. Um, working within a faith-based organisation is of absolute importance to me. And, and, and really, uh, at Wesley Mission, we have all kinds of services. And I think one of the important things to do and recognise, isn't it, that it's just because a person's reached a certain age in life, life hasn't come to an end. It, oh, it, no. it, you know, I, I'm conscious of that when I come in, all the activities that go on. What yes. sort of things that c can people... I, I want to say this properly, look forward to when they come to a place like this? I think the biggest thing that they can look forward to is that... Um, they're not lonely anymore. A lot of people live at home alone. Um, they come here, um, there's you know, a whole lot of other like people that they can make new friends. Um, we have a choir here, so there's some choir practice. Uh, there's lots and lots of different activities that people can do um, that, that will make yeah, their life much more meaningful. The challenge of getting older is, is a real challenge, and I'm conscious that, that we need to seriously address that one. I mean, yeah. uh, do, do you think... Um, that it's more difficult today than it used to be? I think so. I think um, people, because they are living older, the challenge is to make sure that they're also living well, that they're not living older and being sick, because we need that, that's um, much more difficult for people to deal with. We don't just want people to exist, we want no. them to have a quality yeah. of life, and that's quality right. of life can mean many things. And, it's not also, it's not a one cap fits all, is it? When people come into a community, I, mean, I, I think, come on, we're all doing this now, we're all doing that. It's not like that, is it? No, really? not at all. We, 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 you know, it's very important for us to get to know the person, what their interests are, what they did in their lives, um, and, and what makes sense to them, and what they want to achieve in the rest of their life. This was a very early community in the Wesley Mission story of aged care um, and this is on a site where there's also um, very much independent living, isn't there? There's yes. How many of those are there, independent living units here down in Vickery? Well, there's over, there's over 200 independent living units and what we have found is that the people from the independent living units, because they love this place, want to move into Vickery Lodge when they need some more care. So there's a natural progression yeah. from A yes. to, to B? Yes. Is it difficult to get staff in working in this area? Um, surprisingly not at the moment. Um, I think Vickery's got such a wonderful reputation in the local community that, um, that we find it quite easy to get staff to work here. And when, once the staff are here, they, they stay for a long time.
And for viewers that, that, that join us outside of uh, New South Wales, yep. look, the Shire has its yes. own feel about it, doesn't it? It certainly really? does, yes. yes. So people uh, tend to be born in the Shire, live in the Shire and stay here forever and work here forever and then raise their own families here. Looking into the future, um, we, we, can't, we have to be careful with this, but I suppose looking into the future, what do you think the bigger challenges are going to be in, in our sector if we're working with older people? I think the biggest challenge is going to be that people are going to come into aged care a lot later in their lives um, because people are ageing well. Um, and also I think we'll see that um, residential aged care in particular will have to um, focus on dementia care and palliative care as some specialisations. Cathy, thank you for sharing with thank us you. and giving people an insight on our trip around Wesley Mission and the different sites and services. Thank, thank you for you. what you do and most of all, thank you for all the staff and volunteers that yes. make us what we are today.